hi dear friends in this episode i will give you the very unique information about the pandemic and the herbal drinks and the herbal teas that are very effectively practiced in different countries during this pandemic like in china in india in pakistan in western europe in africa there are number of herbal drinks and herbal teas that are commonly practiced to treat the symptoms of pandemic in this lecture, I give you a brief glimpses of a very unique, precious medicinal plants that are practiced in India, Pakistan, China and the rest of the world that are available in your surrounding to get these medicinal plants, to make the herbal drinks, to make the herbal teas and to treat the pandemic because it is experienced by many countries that the herbal drinks and herbal teas uh, that are practiced, that are used to treat the pandemic COVID-19 are safe, lesser side effect and easily available. There, the, in Pakistan, there are a lot of medicinal plants that are distributed in various parts of Pakistan. If you talk about the high altitude in northern Pakistan, plain areas of Punjab, scrub vegetation of Balochistan and the deserts of Sin and Kashmir and KPK, there is a rich diversity of medicinal plants due to uh, rich geographic uh, locations of Pakistan. And These medicinal plants are effectively used and they effectively treat the pandemic COVID-19. They are safe with lesser side effects. Uh, as far as our focal areas of research is concerned that we are focusing on the medicinal plants that are used for health and uh, food security. Uh, I give you the, some um, examples of herbal teas and herbal drinks that are commonly practiced in traditional Chinese medicines in Ayurveda and Yunani system in Pakistan. During this uh, pandemic, many people use the homemade remedies by using the herbal teas for treating the uh, COVID-19. Herbal teas that are prepared from different parts of the plant that the stems, leaves, fruits, flowers, seeds. And these plant parts have a strong antioxidant activities. These have a strong antiviral activities. So these herbal teas can easily be used and easily be made at the home made to treat the pandemic. Our basically approach is use the medicinal plants uh, to uh, treating this pandemic is basically confined to the bottom up approach that is the ethnopharmacology approach that is the uh, local people use the indigenous recipes and these indigenous recipes move toward the pharmaceutical and nutraceutical laboratories to study the active ingredients which are present in these medicinal plants and that can be used uh, that have a strong antiviral activities like to treating the pandemic. There are uh, a number of uh, medicinal plants that are used as herbal drinks and herbal tea that are used for treatment of number of uh, diseases. But in this pandemic, we are focusing on the medicinal plants that are used for the treatment of uh, pandemic by using the herbal teas. We have published a paper in 2018 about the herbal drinks that are used for number of antiviral allergic reactions. So there are number of teas that are mentioned in this papers can easily be uh, available in our surroundings and can easily be used for treating the disease of COVID-19. First herbal tea that is prepared during this pandemic by the traditional Chinese medicine Ayurveda and in Pakistan is the combination of astragalus, angelica, ginger and honey. This extract is commonly practiced in number of the communities to treat this pandemic. Another important herbal tea that is prepared by the neem that is azeratra and dika that is one of the important medicinal plant that is uh, distributed in various parts of Punjab, South range. So they, the leaves, the aerial parts of these plants are commonly practiced in China, in India, in Pakistan to treat this pandemic. Another important herbal tea is prepared by the cinnamon bark and the cardamom seeds. That is the, this bark and the cardamom seed is a strong antiviral activity. By addition of honey, this soothes our respiratory tract and it is also one of the alternative recipe to treat this pandemic. Another herbal tea that is prepared during this pandemic is the aerial parts of Osimum basilicum, that is a basil plant, that is a tulsi. The aerial parts and the fresh juice of this plant is practiced among the various communities of Chinese, Pakistan and Ayurveda to treat this pandemic. Another important herbal tea that is practiced during this pandemic is the preparation of uh, herbal tea that is a turmeric, ginger, ascan, that is a Vithania somifera. This is a safe herbal tea that is used to treat the pandemic by the local communities in various parts of Pakistan and in our neighboring countries. 
Another herbal tea that is prepared by the cumens, that is the cuminum simonum, which have a strong antioxidant and antiviral activity. This herbal tea is also practiced by the traditional Chinese practitioners during this COVID. Uh, Moringa is also one of the important medicinal plants that is distributed in South Punjab. Uh, this is a powerful plant which has a vitamin C more than uh, citrus. So this is a superfood that is used as an immuno boost to treat this COVID. Another important herbal tea that is uh, commonly available in the market is the Anthemus nobilis. That is the chamomile, which is one of the important medicinal plants that is distributed widely in Balochistan and in northern areas of Pakistan. This herbal tea is also practiced by the local communities for the treatment of uh, pandemic. We are focusing about the authentication of the uh, original or the genuine source of these herbal teas. We are practicing the classical to the modern approach that is the correct identification by using the taxonomic approach and the chemical approach and the DNA sequencing to correctly identify these herbal teas for the safe use by the local communities for pandemic. Another important medicine plant from Pakistan is Glyceriza glabra, that is Mileti. This is another important uh, one of the plants that is used for bronchial disorder. It is also used for the respiratory disorder because this COVID directly infects our lungs. So this is an important herbal tea that is used to treat the lungs infection that is by using the Glyceriza glabra. Our approach is a bottom up approach that is the commonly practiced herbal teas that are used for respiratory infections and that are used for antiviral efficacy. This approach leads toward the natural drug discovery development. There are a number of quality assurance uh, programs that is to study the herbal teas with respect to the active ingredient, with respect to the toxins that are present in these medicinal plants. So this approach may lead toward the natural drug discovery development. This approach also leads move toward the natural vaccination that are prepared from the herbal teas by using these extracts. This is another important plant we have published with the Chinese Academy of Sciences about the toxicology of the herbal drinks that are practiced in South and Central Asia. We are going to discuss about the active ingredient as well as the toxins that are present to these plants. So for the safe use, you must know about the, some toxins in these medicinal plants. During this COVID in 2020 and 2021, we have published about the uh, chapters in a green synthesis that is a green nano medicine by using these herbal drinks and herbal teas that may lead toward the green pharmacy, green nutraceuticals that is used the safe medicinal parts for the treatment of number of pandemics like this COVID. This is another chapter we have contributed from Pakistan about the green senses of the solvent or the nanoparticles from the medicinal plant system. This is another important chapter we have published in 2021 about the green synthesis of the medicinal plant that are used for number of respiratory infection as well as this pandemic. We have also practiced the in vitro and vivo studies of medicinal plants in our research group. This is another important medicinal plant from Balochistan. We have reported this is uh, one of the important plants that have strong antiviral activities. This plant is also used for a number of respiratory infections, including this uh, pandemic. So these are few books we have uh, published during this pandemic 20 and 20 months. That is the source of nutrition, source of medicines that are safe for the uh, safe use for number of uh, diseases, including this pandemic. This is another book about the medicinal plant biodiversity of Lesser Himalaya. This is a book about the wild edible fruits, wild edible plants that are used as a natural amino boost because during this pandemic it is very important to use the natural, natural amino boost to make your body strengthen against such type of COVID-19 viral infection. This is another important book we have published in 2020 about the authentication or adulteration of the herbal drugs because one must know about the correct identification. So in this book, we have given the quality assurance, the regulatory mechanism for the authentication of the medicinal plant that are used for safe purpose.
So these are our contributions during this pandemic and we are focusing about the number of medicinal plants from different parts of Pakistan that can be used to treat this pandemic. We are focusing about the allergens as well as because uh, uh, some people have uh, uh, allergic symptoms and so it can be separated from allergic symptoms from pandemics. So we are focusing about the allergenic plant as well as the medicinal plant that are used to treat the allergy reaction as well as used to treat the pandemic. So hope uh, this alternative uh, therapies can be used to treat uh, this pandemic.